Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about on delay timer wiring. Basically, how to do wiring of this on delay timer. Okay. So, in previous video, I have already talked about its working. Basically, how this on delay timer works. Okay. So, if you are interested to watch that video, please check out the link in this description box. Okay, so before I start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. Okay, so let's get started. So here I have taken on delay timer. Okay, so this is made by GIC. Okay, and if we look into its front size. It has two knobs, one for time range setting, so from 3 second to 30 hour setting. So this is the range, we can set the time range with the help of this range and even we have a multiplying factor, a small t. Okay, so to set the actual time in this timer, we have to set this knob to, suppose here we have set 30 second, okay, and here we have set this a small t knob at 0 0.3 multiplying factor okay now to calculate the exact time setting we have to multiply this one 30 second with this multiplying factor which is 0 0.3 okay after multiplying this we'll get 9 second so 9 second is our time setting at this condition okay so in this way we can set the time setting so before I start the wiring we have to look into its wiring diagrams okay to know about its contact details okay so to know the contact details or wiring diagram we have to look into this beside of this on delay timer here as you can see over here this is the contact details or wiring diagram so here I have taken so these are the contact details of this on delay timers so here we have a A1, A3 and A2 terminals. So these are the coil terminal of this on delay timer. So where we can connect 12 volt DC or 110 volt AC or 240 volt AC. Okay. So here we have options. We can also apply DC as well as AC also. Okay. So here we have a A1 terminal. So this is the A1 terminal on this timer and this is the a3 terminal okay and below it we have a a2 terminals okay now we have identified where is the a1 a2 or a3 terminals which is for coil supply terminal of this on delay timer okay now if we talk about its power connection across this if we are going to use ac supply like 220 volt then we are directly connect this phase to a1 terminal and neutral to a2 terminals so there is no problem okay so here at a1 terminal we have connect phase and at a2 terminal we can connect neutral okay now if we apply dc voltage like 12 volt then what we have to do we have to sort the or link a1 and a3 with the wire or we can sort this A1 or A2 with the wire if we are going to apply DC voltage okay across this coil terminal okay so so what is the procedure for DC supply so as per this wiring diagram of this on delay timer first let's 12 volt DC plus wire is connected over here and then we have what we have to do we have to link a1 and A3 with a wire okay so A1 and A3 we have to make a sort with the wire okay now finally we can connect negative terminal at A2 terminal so in this way we can connect if we are going to operate this relay with DC supply okay now here we have a contact details which is on delay timer relay contact details actually so here we have a 15 number contact which is actually common terminal and 
16 number contact which is NC contact with this common terminal 15 number and 18 number is normally open NO contact with this 15 number so where is 15 number in the timer so here we have a 15 number so this is the common terminal and 16 number so 16 number where is 16 number so this is the 16 number so this is the actually nc contact of this on delay timers normally close and 18 number which is anno terminal okay so this is the 18 number okay so this is the anno terminals okay so in this way we can identify the contact details or wiring diagram of this on delay timer okay so now we can start the wiring okay so let's move on to wiring so here i have taken two pole mcb okay for single phase power supply and here we have one switch okay to operate this timer and here we have a two bulb which is acting as a load so we are going to control this bulb with the help of this timer according to time setting okay on delay time setting so first let's complete the wiring then we'll move to basically how this system works okay so for that so here we have a 220 volt ac supply source so this is the live terminals which is phase supply and this is the neutral okay so first let's take a wire and connect it to the input terminal of this mcb and let's take a black wire and connect it to the input terminal so here both phase and neutral are connected at input terminal of this mcb okay so first let's complete neutral wiring neutral supply okay so from here from neutral point let's take a black wire and give it to a2 terminals okay so a2 terminal is the while supply terminal of this on delay timer okay now from the output side of this mcb let's take a black wire and connect it to the load both bulbs so here we have connected uh, neutral supply at both bulb okay up to here we have completed neutral wiring now let's move to the phase wiring or live wiring so from here let's take a wire output side from the output side of this mcb uh, let's take a red wire and connect it to the input terminal of this switch okay now from the output terminal of this switch let's connect it to the a1 terminals so here we are going to operate this relay with this 220 volt which is ac supply so there is no need to sort between this a1 or a3 if we are going to operate this relay with dc supplies like a 12 volt dc then we have to make this a1 and a3 sort okay so here we are going to use this ac supply so that's why we have not made it sort okay now up to here we have completed coil supply wiring of this timer now come to load side so as you know that 15 number is common supply okay so from here from the output side of this mcb let's take a red wire and connect it to the 15 number now at 15 number phase supply is now present okay so let's connect this bulb with the 18 number terminal which is anno contact of this timer so from there let's take a red wire and connect it to the this bulb okay now from 16 number contact let's take a wire and connect it to this bulb now here up to here we have completed the wiring of this timer now in this stage our mcb is also off as you can see over here this is off and our switch is also at off condition okay and as you know that 16 number is nc contact that's why this bulb is already glowing okay already on but this 18 number is no contact that's why this is off normally open okay so in this condition our timer is at normal condition okay we have not still give the power supply at coil terminal of this 
timer so before give the power supply first let's set the time time setting okay so suppose here we want to operate this bulb after 3 second when we give the power supply okay and this bulb should be off after 3 second when we switch on this power supply okay so for that let's set this knob at 3 second and as you know that we have to set this also multiplying factor so here let's set it to 1 now if we multiply 3 second into 1 which is multiplying factor then it becomes 3 second so so at this condition our time setting is at 3 second okay so here we have switched on this MCB as you can see over here now let's switch on this switch so here we have switched on this switch now this power will flow like this and it will reach to this A1 terminal when this timer got power supply across its coil terminal then what happened it starts the time counting as per its setting so here we have set 3 second so now it started the time counting like 1 2 3 so up to 3 second this bulb is still on and this bulb is still off so after 3 second what happened its contact gets changed okay so 16 number is NC okay that's why this bulb is also still glowing and 18 number is NO normally open that's why this bulb is still off so after 3 seconds what happened actually its contacts get changed now when its contact get changed it means this bulb will get turned off and this bulb will get turn on so after 3 seconds this bulb is turn off and this bulb will turn on okay when we switch on this switch so in this way as you can see over here its contact get changed so 16 number is previous nc now it become no and 18 number is no now it becomes nc that's why this bulb get on and this bulb get off so in this way this on delay timer works okay so basically what happened when we switch on this switch this timer coil get power supply and it started the time setting suppose here we have set 3 second so up to 3 second this bulb is on and this bulb is off after 3 second what happened its contact get changed from NC to NO and NO to NC so hence this bulb is off because now 16 number is NO after 3 second and 18 number is NC after 3 second that's why this bulb is on okay so in this way this timer works okay so this is the basic wiring of on delay timer so according to this you can connect wherever you want as per your requirements okay so if we talk about application of on delay timer it is used in star delta starter where this timer helps to start the motor initially in a star connection after 5 seconds suppose here we have set 5 seconds so after some delay so here we have set suppose 5 seconds so after 5 seconds this change the circuit from star to delta okay so basically there are two contactors so initially this timer switch on first contactor and after five seconds this contactor start contactor will be off and delta contactor will be on so after five seconds our motor will be running in delta connection okay so in this way we can use in on delay timer in the star delta starter even we use it in ATS panel or AMF panel so so there are two contactors actually one for utility line and one for DG supply diesel generator supply 
so after some times only we switch on this utility or dg contactors so so there is also use of this on delay timer so it depends upon you wherever you want to operate any load after delay seconds after some time so there you can use this on delay timer okay so it's up to you so in this video we have discuss about on delay timer wiring and uh, its application so hope you guys understand about on delay timer wiring so thank you for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video